Hello and welcome to CS230. This is Lecture 8 and Lesson 5. And in this lesson, I want to revisit the Apache web server installation, and in particular, the PHP MyAdmin app that came with your XAMPP software that I recommended you use for CS230, and I showed you how to install it in Lesson 1. Out of the box, XAMPP just works just fine, but if we want to use it for development purposes, and we will want to put backend databases accessible from other apps, make them available onto the web, we're going to need to do some extra configuration settings to make it usable and workable for you, so that you can, you can uh, make it easy for everybody and also for, for us to um, correct your assignments a little bit later. So remember that PHP My Admin, it's just an app, it's written in PHP, which comes with XAMPP installation, and um, it also provides you with MariaDB, which is a MySQL equivalent database software. I mean, you can create all that stuff, but in order to make it work, you have to have users, you have to have logins, you have to have databases, you have tables within that, and you're familiar with a lot of this stuff from your database module. And I expect you to know this already, of course, um, and we build on it in this particular module, but this will be a quick, a quick run over um, what you need to do. So one of the things you need to do is you need to set your administration password, you need to be able to create a new database, tables, um, you need to be able to create new users, and you need to get some practice. So I've given you some links here in this document, which I'll supply, of course, that you can do. But I'm going to walk you through it with this video as well. So first thing we need to do is check that our, our um, server's running. It is. Apache's running. And this is the administrator for XAMPP. And now we want to have a look and ch check that it is. So we'll reload. And yes, it's fine. It's fine. And in the top right-hand menu, you'll see an information here about um, our link to phpMyAdmin. So we click there. And... It's not working. Ooh, why is that? I wonder. Um, can I connect? Well, that's because if you go back to your service here by manager, of course it's not working because the MySQL database is not running. So it, compl it, it complains. So let's start this and let's wait for it to come online. Once it come online, comes online, we should be able to connect again using our, our PHP My Admin application. There we go. And let's do it. Let's reload. And unsurprisingly, we're now in. Okay, so. What I want to do is I want to create, we're going to be doing some connections to databases from Node in the next few le lectures. So let's create a user called Node user and give it a database called Node user. And then we can put all our tables that we use for examples in there. So we click on um, user accounts and then we'll see there's lots of, lots of users already here. Okay, and um, lots of root user. So we want to add a new user account and we'll do it here. We click on this one and we're going to call this one Node user. Not surprisingly, and we're going to connect, allow connections from our local host. Okay, so that's good. And um, we give it a password and we call the password for now node user. Okay, not good at all. As you can see, it's extremely weak, but we'll do it anyway. Um, we're going to allow the da database automatically created for us called node user, and we give it privileges so that we can create and do all that sort of stuff as well. Okay, so let's click the button here, say go. And we've created a new user. There we go. I like to um, flush the privileges here just to be sure. The privileges. Um, and I run this in my SQL tab. That's the SQL tab. Just, just to be sure that all those um, password things propagate properly. So let's go and have a look and see this work. And rather than logging in with phpMyAdmin, I tend to be log we're logging in as root here with no password actually. We come back to that a little while. I like to check everything from the command line. So um, let's log in as a user um, using the MySQL command. And this is the path. I'm explicitly putting the path in rather than having it in my command, in, in my, my path. Um, username is node user, and we're saying we need to have a password. Um, uh, should be, uh, it should be a mistake there sometimes. It's node user. Sorry, that was just a typo. Okay, so and we hit. Okay, so now we're asked for a password, node user, and we're in. Okay, so we're now in. We were able to connect, and we're connected to the database, and it's fine. So, um, so if we say show tables, we normally would get something here, but we should get an error, okay, it's because we haven't selected a database. So we know our database is um, node user. So we'll use that. Use node user. So we change the database, and we show tables. Yay, no tables, so it's good, so we're there, so it's fine. Okay, so one of the problems is that I said to you already is that we're already connected in uh, to this as, as root here in the PHP MyAdmin, okay? So 
That means Root has all privileges. You can see we're able to create the node user, but we could actually log in here as root, and there's no password. So I mean, why would we create a, a, a why would we create a protection, if you like, with using a password for people, um, and then not have root as the password? And this is the way it comes out in a box. So we need to fix this. So let's go back here to the user accounts and say, okay, we can change. We know how to change it and set a password for a user. Let's go back here. And now let's go down and change the password for the root on this one here. So we edit privileges, we go in and do this, and we go up here to change password, change the password, and now I'm going to use the password I normally use for lectures called SQL or 0 t Okay, I don't use this personally for anything, I just use it for lectures. So you'll see it happen a lot in my examples. Okay, and you know, I got it in there changed it. So now we're here, okay? So now, um, what happens if we want to try to flush the privileges again? We can click on another tab here and we wonder what will happen. Oops, we get an error. Not surprisingly. Okay, we can't connect. And why can't we connect this time? Well, we know it's running, okay? Okay, we know it's running. We've just checked. It's fine. We look at the error. It's access denied for user root at local host using the password. So we can't connect here. And the reason we can't connect is because we changed the password. And because PHP my admin has a file somewhere that it holds the passwords. Okay, and so we've now changed the password, so we have to tell it that this is the password. So the way we do that is there's a configuration file for PHP my admin. So it's in the exam files, and here it is, it's called config.inc.php. I'm gonna open this um, uh, with Atom to have a look. So now, this is the configuration file, for, it's a PHP file actually, um, and if you scroll down you'll see root has no password, which is where we save the password. So let's change that to be the password I specified. SQL root, okay, let's save this, I need to authenticate. Okay, I've authenticated, and um, okay, so that should be okay. So now I've done this, let's go back to password, let's go back to user account, and now I'm in, and we're authenticated with a password, and, and, and that's not surprising. Okay, so that's good. Um, we want to be able to show our account works for, so here, here's a, a, for node users, just some links, how can you access this? Um, if there's some nice, how can I access the MySQL command with example for Windows? Um, how do you change the root password? There's lots of things for this. How to create a user? You know, we can do all that stuff. It's fine if you want to do it from the command line rather than using it here. here I'll give you this link as well. And here's a nice one. The MySQL, uh, um, the, the MySQL tutorial, um, or the database tutorial in W3 School. So look, here, here we have create a table. Here's a test table in here. Okay, so let's have a look at that. And um, let's go to our command line. Again, I like to do things from the command line. Let's go there. Let's go back up and log in as um, our node user. Okay, let's create the table. Oh, load database. Use. Oh, doesn't exist. Oh. That's because it didn't work. Select, we've got, a, we've got to create a new table as a table from somewhere else. We just create the table. We, we go back to the PySQL, have a peek. That's what you get when you just copy and paste commands, I suppose, without reading them. Um, create a table. Where, where do we create a table? Here's the table. I copied the wrong thing. Okay, so create a table, persons. Let's go back in again. I don't stress too much when I make these mistakes. Let's, so now we have a table. Show table, so there's the tables, okay, and there's not much happening going on there. It's one table. We can actually go back to here to the user accounts. Let's look at the databases. Let's look at the node user, and we'll see that there's the persons database, and we can click on the persons database, and we can see um, that there's not much there um, happening from this. Select view from tables. Let's look at the structure of the table, and we can see person ID, last name, first name, address. And we can do all sorts of manipulation with PHP my admin, or we can do it from the command line over here, and um, and we can just copy and paste some of the examples from querying the tables or insertions into the tables and so forth with 
with um, with working through the W3 schools examples. So we could go to um, the insert, syntax, select, all that kind of stuff, you know, um, to create a demo database. It all works just fine. <coughs> So you can play with the my you can play with MySQL from um, the command line here, or you can do it from within PHP MyAdmin. You can do selections, insertions, all that kind of stuff there too if you want. Okay, and um, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching.